What's going on everybody? Teddy Baldassar here from teddybaldassar.com. Today we're reviewing a watch that I have been anticipating wanting to review for quite some time. I was just waiting for it to get in stock with the Junghans Max Bell Automatic Bajas. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at this watch, but at any moment that you're interested in maybe learning a little bit more, hit the link in the description. I have more details and also have it available for purchase on my website, teddybaltasar.com. I'd love to be able to have your business. And in addition to that, if you do purchase this watch from my website, you can get a free strap with your purchase up to $50 using Bauhaus Automatic at checkout. So guys, let's take a closer look at this piece. First, looking at the high level rundown of the specs, we have a case size of 38 millimeters, thickness of 9.9 .9 millimeters, lug width of 20 millimeters, lug to lug of 39.6, water resistance of 30 meters, Movement is an automatic J8001, which is an ETA 2824 tube base. For crystal, we have a convex sapphire, so that's a nice jump up here compared to the plexiglass that you usually see here. And then price, $1,325. So when I was first getting into watches, there were a few select brands that were able to push me over the edge into never really looking back. And one of those was Junghans, primarily with their max bills. There was just something ineffable about them that just entranced me. But if I had to put it to words, it was just really their incredible designs that managed to perfect the concept of space and lines without sacrificing function. Much of the birth of modern industrial product design is embedded within the looks of these pieces. And I think they really just serve as a form of art and design on the wrist. Now, one attribute that I really like apart from the design of these pieces and really was appealing to me was first, how these watches ultimately wear on the wrist themselves and was a huge draw when purchasing my Maxbill Chronoscope. So with all Junghans watches within the Maxbill range, there's a unique combination of thin bezels that are practically non-existent from view straight on given their eye-catching dial service. This watch with its 38 millimeter case is practically all dial when looking on, which will offer a wearing experience that is different from the norm. When you're looking down, you feel like you're wearing a round encapsulment of well-executed design. The barely shown bezel is not the only element that is slimmed down quite a bit, as the lugs also are very compact and lend to the points of the dial really jumping out on the wrist, only being supported further. At 39.6 millimeters lug to lug, this is gonna be a nice wear. It's gonna look small on the wrist from top to bottom. So I could see this working on wrist from 14 centimeters to around 17 and a half centimeters, really just being that sweet spot. The crystal on this piece is a convex sapphire with anti-reflective coating on both sides, which is not gonna be as domed as the plexiglass versions here, uh, in comparison to some other Max builds, but certainly does help in the durability point of view and really does get people, I think, over the edge that maybe might just be a little bit concerned in terms of that plexiglass and being able to bang it around. I've had my Maxwell Chronoscope for four years. It's held up with no issues. I don't baby the thing, but I also don't go around banging it around everywhere. So, but I think this will help a lot of people get into this that are really drawn to these designs. The stainless steel case is coated in a nice gray brushed finish that works well with the fantastic dial elements. The dial comes in a traditional Max build design, being a master of both space and lines while delivering great legibility. Along the outskirts of the dial, we have long, thin printed hour markings with each quarter hour containing small dots of superluminova at the farthest points of the dial and a simple writing of Junghans automatic at the 12. At the three, we have a date, which brings out one of the more obvious stars of the show here with the touch of red, as well as a touch of red within the pencil style hands at the center. The loom on the watch is nothing crazy to say the least, but will assist in orientation in the dark and features two shades of loom the loom on the outskirts of the dial is much more noticeable, coming in that traditional green tint and the red hands kind of having a more obscure reddish white tint. Yet despite the dials usually being the number one seller when it comes to why people are getting into max bills in this design, one of the most appealing features of this watch and one that might be hard to resist is the spectacular case back on this one. Housed within is an automatic ETA 2824-2 with a Junghans sign rotor that is a bit tough to see However, this watch succeeds in matching the great design on the front with the case back here. And I think that's really saying something. Now, just over a hundred years ago, the Baja School of Design was open. And from that institution, so much of what we know from modern architecture and industrial design, that's really where a lot of it originated. With this Maxbill being an example of that. On this case back, the iconic school building's facade appears with the side windows offering view of the movement within. 
This to me is just a really fun way to pay tribute to the school, which paved the way for this piece to really even exist while not coming off as too corny, which I think can tend to happen when trying to do these tributes. Okay, so now that we've taken a little bit closer look at this piece, things to consider, my overall thoughts. As soon as I saw this watch in press photos, I was incredibly excited. The touch of red, I think, works so well with this design. And when factoring in all the other elements of this piece, I think you're getting a lot here if you are drawn to this style. You're getting the classic Max Bell design that I think so many people love. You're getting a sapphire crystal, which is a nice step up from the plexiglass that are commonly seen on these Max Bills. In addition, you're getting a very wearable case that's also going to be able to be paired with a ton of different straps at 20 millimeters, which again, recommend picking out some different ones. I have a ton available on my site. And I think all these little subtle hints at the tribute to the Baja School of Design are really well done without being excessive and corny. I love the case back. I think some people maybe not like it. I think that would be the only thing with this piece is just the fact that if some people might just prefer the other just standard, more traditional Max builds, but I think there's a lot to love here. And I think Jung Hans knocked it out of the park with this piece. I don't think these are gonna last very long. But guys, if you are interested in this piece, more details, link in the description, and I would love to be able to have your business as well. If you have any questions, of course, email me at team at teddybaldassar.com. But I'd love to hear your comments as well down below. What do you think of this piece? What are your thoughts? If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. I'm gonna be posting a ton more content. So if you want more details about what is available in my store and kind of some more in-depth reviews, I'm gonna be doing a ton of them. In addition, also subscribe to my main channel, follow me on Instagram as well to stay up to date with my regular programming and content. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.